We all have ghosts, silhouettes, things that haunt us, things that refuse to leave us in torments night and day, leftovers of moments of fragility, insecurity, rejection, and fear. Yet, not existing in a tangible form, and having to exist in so many forms in the minds of so many different, broken people. They are not physically there, tangible in reality. No, they do not exist but in our minds, as shadows of what did exist, a fierce, cruel repetition of what existed in the past, unwilling to cease its repetition in the now. These silhouettes follow us for as long as we choose, and ours happen to be a boy named Xavier Paul. I think we should go the other way. Doesn't look very... Hey man, is everything all right? Will? I know you don't know me, but if you need anything... Will? Just let me know and I'm here to help. Shut up! Hey man, hey. chill for a Whoa. sec. Calm down, Xavier. He didn't do anything... <laughs> Stand up to me. You're not capable. You have no power. You're just a sheltered little boy who will never! And the worst part is, I don't even know why he did it. I doubt we'll ever know. That boy is cryptic. We need to tell administration. They can do something and put that that bully in his place. I'm all for that. This is the last day of spring break, and tomorrow the teachers are all coming back from their group networking trip. Is everything all right, Martin? No, I just... I just... Hey! Hey, man. Don't, don't worry, okay? We're gonna put him in his place. You know, he threw some nasty punches at Sam and I, and he threw some nastier words at you. Which... Contrary to popular belief, do hurt just as much as sticks and stones. We'll get it all sorted out. Okay? Just... Why would anyone do that? Hurt, hurt a bunch of passerbys like us? What did we even do? And he's just messed up, you know? There's some people out there who are just so messed up that they kind of have to inflict pain on others. All right, I gotta go. My parents want me home to help prepare dinner. All right, see you, man. Um, I guess Martin and I will stay here, finish off the paper. We've got about a paragraph or so to do. All right, cool. I'll catch you later. Yeah, see you, man. You know, even though I hate biology papers, it's really helping getting my mind off last night. Sam? Well, I'm coming over right now. Sam, what's going on? It's about Xavier. I need to tell you in person. Sam? What do you mean? Sam? <sighs> what? <sighs> Something's coming in. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Sam, what's going on? 
Sorry guys, it's just uh, something surprising just happened. <coughs> I was about to go to bed and then someone was knocking on my door. I went to go answer it and I find Xavier Paul standing before me. Before I even had the chance to react, he fell to his knees asking, begging me to forgive him for what he had done. I was surprised to say the least. But before the ch yeah, I even had the chance to say anything, he got up and ran off before I could even react. Are you kidding me? He has the nerve. He asked for forgiveness, not after 48 hours of yelling horrible things at us, harassing us, beating you two guys up for no reason. He doesn't deserve anything. He is a monster. Well, I guess there's no argument here. Tomorrow at school, you talk to the administration at lunch and take care of this. See you, Sam. Only a few more minutes till the bell rings. Hey. It'll be okay, Martin. We'll put this guy in his place. Hey, guys. I've got some new developments. What? It's about Xavier. Get this. He's not asking for forgiveness just for the sake of forgiveness. If he gets one more referral from the administration, he's getting kicked out of the school. This doesn't change anything, right? He's still a villain. And I can't stand for this. We all have to agree he doesn't deserve anything, right? Come on, Sam. You're not seriously thinking about this. Come on! He's hurt us. He doesn't deserve to be in the same school as us. I'm not... It's just... This school is really hard to get into. And... He's a beast. He's also a student. Where is all of this sympathy coming from, Sam? Can we just have a day to think about this? Will. We'll be destroying this kid's future. Come on, Martin. I know this guy is horrible, and you know this guy is horrible. Gentlemen, please don't. Tomorrow. What was that? Excuse me? You have some explaining to do. Why the hell did you just attack me? I was trying to show you that Xavier is a monster. By dressing up in a hood and beating your friend with a cane? You sympathize with a monster. And I couldn't stand that. It was injustice. That's why I did all of this, for justice. You know, he doesn't deserve to be at the same school as us. And I had to show you that. You, you are the real monster. Just tell me why. Why did you sympathize with him? I'm a 
way to school yesterday, <laughs> Xavier confronted me. He told me the details of why he wanted our forgiveness. And he told me sincerely that he did want our forgiveness. Of course, I was skeptical, but I was thinking about it all day. That day, in the halls where he beat us, he had gotten a text from the school telling him that he was on the brink of being expelled, and that grief turned to anger, a blind, rage-filled anger. And when you came, he was reminded of those who had good grades and a future. He thought that you were condescending when you were reaching out to him. He didn't take it well. How did you know? I'm a smart guy, Will. Not just with vocab and math. I can read people. I knew a little bit about Xavier's history and what he told me and kind of filled in the blanks. But I still wasn't sure. But that's why I needed a day to just figure things out before we did anything brash. I needed time to connect the dots. The more you think about something complicated, the more complicated that something gets. And you have to make a sure decision. One that could potentially ruin someone's future. I just realized, one day, you're going to have to live with all the blood on your hands. I don't want to kill someone without being absolutely sure it's the right decision. I forgive you.